Hey guys, thanks for joining me on Neri's Kitchen. Once again, we have Coach Jen in the house. Hello. To share us one of her special recipes. Okay, you know I'm a vegetarian, right? So I'm always trying to find some good meals. So we have sweet potato, cauliflower, and peas, which is uh, one of my staples in my house that I have all the time. So with my sweet potatoes, I do wash them, but I don't peel them because all the good nutrients are in the potato. Now, um, this is going to be a little loud, sorry. <laughs> the, um, what I find is going to Vita Health or getting an organic sweet potato is far better than any other sweet potato out there, in my opinion. Why is that? Um, you know what, just a better color, better taste. Um, they don't last as long as, you know, processed potatoes, but they, they're worth it. I feel like if you're going to go organic and I'm not like trying to spew organic here, I just, one couple of things, I find that the potatoes really account for something. So make them chunky. You don't have to make them super small. How about an inch? Yeah. I just kind of quarter them like that. I'm just going to do one potato just to show you guys how it goes instead of cutting them all up. But of course you get the idea so you can amp up that meal prep and get it quite a few servings out of this, okay? So once you have it all cooked out, we're gonna pull out the, the food scale and measure out however many ounces of potatoes you want. And so Jen, you said you picked this up from Vita Health? I do, yeah, okay. I do. Or any uh, health food store, try, even at No Frills, they have organic sections. So they do, at Superstore too. Yeah, I don't get any for everything organic, but the potatoes I like. Okay, so we got our sweet potatoes, right? So I always do the sweet potatoes on their own before um, I do the cauliflower. I do them separately because I find they cook different. Yes, do the you? cooking time. I always do it separately too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I need oil actually over here. So we get a little bit of oil and I'm gonna actually measure it just because we're on camera. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put a one uh, tablespoon in there, okay? And then we're gonna add our spices. Now I'm heavy on the spices because you know, you get your flavor. So this is turmeric, love turmeric. It's got a lot of benefits to it. I'm sure Neri knows what they are. It's pretty good for inflammation, FYI. There you FYI. go, there you go. <laughs> garlic powder, boom, boom, boom. I throw a little bit in there, not salt powder. Now this is my secret ingredient. This is vegetable spice. So for all you vegetable lovers out there, smell it. It's oh, nice. Good. I know, I just like literally, Sauce it up there, okay? I've never actually heard of vegetable spice. No, it's good. <laughs> and neither did I until I saw it on the shelf. This is how I stir. I just kind of give it a little whack. Get a workout into. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Why not get a little chest? And then maybe salt and pepper if you want. And then we're going to put that in the air fryer just like that. And for how long in the air fryer? Uh, check your little book. It is 20 minutes on roast. Okay. okay. And then what I do is obviously you'll have more than one layer. So just switch the layers up halfway. So now we have the sweet potatoes cooking in the air fryer. I'm going to cut up the cauliflower and I'm going to use the same bowl because we're going to use the same ingredients. Cauliflower, you know, everyone's scared. They think it takes a long time, but literally you can just rip it apart. It's not a big deal. Um, depending on what shape your cauliflower is in, I like to go... Like this one I would cut just to make it a little smaller and area. I'm not mm -hmm. sure what you do, but I definitely like. I like it bite size. Bite size, exactly. So we're gonna do the same thing. I'm not gonna do the whole thing. I'll do half just to show you guys. I also try and cut off the stems. This is why we have muscles, so we can just rip this stuff apart. There we go. So here I'm just gonna cut the stems off. Boom. And so why do you cut here. off the stems? You know, I just don't really like them. Oh, rubbery. okay. <laughs> I like the cauliflower tops. There you go. So, I mean, this is what's left, right? Yeah. So then this one is a little big, so I'm just gonna rip it a little bit more. You know, when you're, when you're at home, you have a little more time on your Sunday when you're meal prepping for the belly burn. There we go. Okay, so that'll be garbage. Now, same thing here. I'm gonna put one tablespoon of um, oil any oil that works for you. Make sure you put in my fitness pal too. Don't be cheaping out on that. And then my vegetable spice right here, we're gonna jack it up. Look how good that looks. And so what's inside, on the barbecue what's inside the vegetable spice? I'm just curious good because, question. you know, know. I, we eat vegetables, right? So I'll, I'll take a look, yeah. Turmeric, throw it in. 
Okay, it says anything there? Red yeah, pepper. garlic, red pepper, carrot, sun dried mm -hmm. tomato, mm -hmm. tomato, leek, salt, sugar. Oh. Oh, sugar. Mm. Okay, just a tad of sugar. <laughs> just a tad. <laughs> All right, so this is how I mix my cauliflower. <laughs> We're gonna throw it in the air fryer after the potatoes are done. I like to do it separately. So, Jerome, this is how it's going to look at the end. I like to overcook mine a little bit. Look at your book. You'll see cauliflower in the, in your uh, air fryer book, and it's like 16 minutes, I think, on roast. So give it a try. Then you mix the two together. And the last special ingredient, oddly enough, is peas, okay? So we're going to take the peas, and let's do the same thing we did before here. We're going to drain it. Normally, I don't like peas, but with this dish, it's so good. All right. You know what, Neri? I forgot a special ingredient here. Oh, what's that? I Garlic. No. Oh, curry. Really? Yes, curry? Yes, curry. I love it. it. You know, I didn't think I would, but when I tried it on my sweet potatoes and on my cauliflower, it is delicious. So let's pour some on. And I'm generous with it, too. Okay, mix it up. And then you're going to bake it. Okay, it's going to look like that. Now, once you have your finished product out of the air fryer, I cooked one up ahead of time. We're going to measure it out on your food scale. So you can get a food scale anywhere, Walmart, whatever. Amazon. Amazon, yeah. So I got four ounces of sweet potato in here and I got one ounce of cauliflower. And then we're just going to use a quarter cup of peas. I'm going to use this for sake of time. There you go. And you put it in the fridge like that. That is your meal. Now you're going to find it's spicy because you got the curry. So we're going to quickly make a yogurt dip for it. Okay. So if you have any type of really spicy vegetarian food, you want to always add the yogurt. Otherwise your mouth, well, you want to cool it down. Are you a spicy person? I am. Yes. Are you? Oh no. I, yeah. My nose runs right away. I'm like, ah. I feel like it's working. I'm like I'm burning more calories. If I eat spicy foods, I don't, it's a weird thing. Hey, that's a good, that's a good way to think about it. Okay, so I'm going to take a quarter cup again. I think it's a quarter cup per serving, but make sure you're looking at my fitness pal when you do it. Okay, throw it in. Then we're going to take our cucumber and we're going to make like a tzatziki sauce. Kind of. Now, a trick to, to making tzatziki is to take out the middle because the middle could be a little slimy on your cucumber. For sake of time, we're not going to do it today, but if you can, core it, core it, and then dry it really good with paper towel, okay? And it also makes it more liquidy, too. With the, the, yeah. the seeds inside, yes. Yeah. So I'm just going to, I always use a grater for this. I use about a half a cucumber with my quarter cup of, um, uh, uh, what do you call that? Yogurt. yogurt. <laughs> yogurt. Plain yogurt. Plain yogurt, zero sugar added. All right. There we go. I guess I'll use this one. I'll just mix it up here. So it's already starting to look like tzatziki. Now the ingredient for tzatziki in my world is cumin. And there we got me some right here. So cumin, spice. We're going to throw that in there with a little salt and pepper. You can also add garlic if you want to. And it's going to taste delicious. Let's see here. Salt and pepper. You can also add dill if you're a dill person. I was just going to say, do you add lemon to it? Yes, I didn't bring lemon. Lemon would be a great <laughs> idea. So squeeze a little lemon in here too. That's normally what I would do, yeah. Look at that. Smell it. Mmm, mm. smells good. Smell from so here. So what I would do here is, again, you have to be accurate on my fitness pal case. If you're going to use a couple tablespoons here, put this in the microwave, heat it up for your meal prep, throw some of this on here, mix it together, or put it on the side, and it's just so good. Awesome. Try it out. And how many calories are in this meal, Jen? That's a good question. Oh, 266. Oh, 266. Yes, 266. All right. Depending on how much dip you have. Right. Yeah. So again, guys, make sure you punch everything in. We want to be as accurate as possible during a belly burn challenge. That's right. Thanks, Coach Jen, for joining me on Nearest Kitchen. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next week. Bye have now. Have a good day.